Hello all, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the image to image tab within Stable Diffusion and how you can take your existing pieces of art, your drawings, your paintings and hopefully turn them into wonderful masterpieces with Stable Diffusion. Right then, so let's dive straight in. Um, here you can see we have the image to image tab. We can upload um, this drawing that I created in paint.net. Uh, you can see I'm no artist by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but this is where Stable Diffusion hopefully will help us out. If we type in an apple with water droplets, highly detailed, ultra realistic, 8K. We have something if we scroll down called the denoising strength bar. This ranges from zero to one and effectively gives uh, Stable Diffusion more creativity the higher you set the scale. And you can see it defaults to 0.75. So as an example, if we set that to 0 0.1, um, we're telling Stable Diffusion to pretty much replicate what we're giving it, which is not ideally what we want in this circumstance. There you can see, I think mine's actually even better than that. <laughs> Um, but if we set that to something like 0 0.7, for example, run it again, we can see we get a way cooler image um, than what I could ever create in paint. So that's pretty cool. What you can also do is take um, drawings that you've made on a piece of paper. Again, my uh, twisted version of a, a, a chicken. Let's have a little play with that. So if we say a colorful chicken, highly detailed, ultra realistic, okay. We'll leave the denoising strength to 0 0.7. So we give it that creativity again. And here you can see we have a, a, a really cool image of a chicken um, that's based off uh, my terrible drawing. So I think that's really cool. One other thing um, that we can do while I'm going through this is this in paint tab here. So if we take um, the lady in Central Park from our last video, and if we want to, she's got blue eyes at the moment. So if we wanted to change that for argument's sake to brown eyes, we can in paint over the area that we want to change. If we scroll down, we say in, point, in paint area, currently it's set to the whole picture, so that will change everything, but we only want to change the masked element. And here we want to tell stable diffusion, give it some more emphasis with the parentheses. We want to say she should have brown eyes. And here, yep, denoising strength of 0 0.7 still. Let's generate that. And here you can see it's starting to change the eyes to brown. I would send that back to in paint at this point because we're not getting the exact color that we want in this bit. So let's try that again. And we'll have negative prompt of blue eyes just to really hit home the point. And here you can now see our lady has brown eyes, which I think is really cool. So I think that's about it for the image to image tab. Um, have fun with it, play around. And if you have any questions, then drop in the comments. Thank you very much.